Hey guys, it's Rage and Creation, and uh, hey, got news. Um, there's some pretty important news going on about uh, me and my girl. So I hope you guys will listen to me. It's um, pretty crazy. Um, my girl is pregnant, and uh, yeah. So. Um, it's gonna be kind of crazy, pretty hectic, right now it's hectic anyways, her parents don't really want to hear or see from me or my sister, um, they don't want, uh, us being really around each other, I mean, I'm, I want to be there and be supportive for my girl and everything. I mean, the only way we're going to get through this is if me, my family and her family, you know, work together and we can get through this properly. They think she's going to be a high school dropout, or think she has to be a high school dropout anyways, but in all truth, she doesn't have to be. She'll be pretty far along during the next school year, and people at my school have been pregnant before. So, my school will allow it. I mean, they're not real mean on it, I guess, from what I remember tell because that's what my girl said there was a pretty pregnant girl there um, before and then um, another thing is that uh, she'll be pretty for pretty far along N her last year of high school next year is her last year because she's a junior right now so uh, she'll be a senior with like six months left of school after the child's born so uh yeah, she can she can pretty much finish high school, and then uh, if they don't want to do that, then they can also um, do online school if they wanted to. I mean, but like they don't really understand. They think I'm gonna be gone in five years, but with the child, I'm not. I'm gonna be there through everything. Through um, I want to be there for the ultrasounds because she's got a ultrasound appointment like next week. I want to be there, but right now her parents won't let me. Um, there's also uh, you know the childbirth when she goes through labor. I want to be there. That's in eight months though, and it's if she doesn't miscarry before then, hopefully not because I mean that that would break my heart. She's um pretty much. Uh, the doctor said she seems to be about a month along. So we're going from that. But I'm taking care of things right now. Like I applied for. I filled out two applications, turned them in, talked to one manager. I got another application I'm gonna fill out. And turn in, but I'm gonna give it to my friend, which he'll give straight to his manager instead of me turning it into, you know, the company or whatever. Since they're not actually hiring, they're just taking applications. And, uh, one manager said, like, you know, the hours I want to work and the times and everything. He asked me if it was my, like, if I worked anywhere before. I'm like, no. It's like, first job? I'm like, yeah. He asked me if I wanted to work cashier or whatever, and I was like, uh, or he was like, anything? I'm like, anything. It's like, alright, but I'll have to talk to the manager, and I'm waiting to hear from them. Um, there might be a couple of other applications I might go and get f and fill out, but, um, I'm trying to take care of my business, like, I got my permit right here, and I'm, I'm not gonna, um, I got some pretty, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much, I got my permit, I don't think there was anything there, yeah, nah. Eh, pretty much good. Just picture me. Um, let's got. I got my permit. That uh. So I can uh, you know, get my license in six months. And right now I can drive to work in school. Then I probably won't drive to school. Um, and the way I figured it, I'll be working minimum wage. Two hundred and eighty dollars before taxes. About. And probably like 210 or something around there after taxes. So I'd give them like $100 every two weeks or 200 every month. And then put like 100 in the uh, bank 
to start in a savings account to start saving for a car because you know we're gonna need a car and uh, I'm trying to be responsible and get my stuff together and not act around and just sit here and say huh well you know whatever but I'm trying to get stuff done um, I'm also you know I have to do that and also be between school so I filed for hours between six and close during the week and any time on the weekend, so hopefully that works out. A uh, couple of other things is that their parents really aren't, you know, they just don't want me there. What they don't understand is my girlfriend wants me to be there as much as I can, and this her parents not letting me be there is killing her. So uh, we'll have to, I mean, hopefully they come around because it's killing me too because I want to be there for her. Especially when she does the ultrasounds, I want to be there. Um, so if y'all want, I can make videos about me and my girl with my phone. And then I can upload them. And you guys can kind of keep, like, know what's going on between me and my girl. And uh, I can keep y'all updated on what's going on in our lives. With this whole thing. Um... So she would have, you know, she can finish next year. As long as she can do something and finish next year and graduate, then I can graduate and I get a better job. Then um, we can move out and, you know, get a place or go to my friend's house and stay there for a little bit till I get a better job or get some money together and figure out what we're going to do and look around for a house and move in together and probably later on get married because we do love each other um... yeah right now it's but she's gonna have to stay at her parents or so we're gonna, I mean they're asking what I can do to support her when she turns 18 or in the immediate future but honestly I gotta finish high school first because there's no way I'm gonna be able to support her on minimum wage I finish high school, get my diploma, and then I can, um, you know, get a better job or do something and get some better income to help support us. And then she can go to like a Votech after high school and get some more education and figure out a, you know, get a job. And then pretty much we can do that. Um,. So, it's pretty much, that's what's going on in my life. Uh, it's going to be kind of crazy. It's going to be hectic. But, um, I'm going to, I'm going to do everything I can. I want to be there. They think I'm going to leave in five years, but I'm not going anywhere. Especially with a child. No, I'm not. Um, no, I'm going to be there. Um, I just hope they come around. But, you know... I'm gonna try to give them, you know, the money, and if they don't take it, then, um, I'll probably give it to my girl, and, uh, she can, you know, keep it in case they do need it for anything. It's only gonna be like $800 if I give them $100 a month, because she's a month along, you know, pregnancy usually nine months, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> I didn't mean this. I sound like that, but, you know, most people know it's nine months for pregnancy. And so, uh, it'd be about $800 I'd give her, and then $800 in the bank, and then if someone can, like, help me a little bit, I can get a better car. Because, you know, especially with the child, it can't be raggedy and ghetto and trashy and barely run. Or but by the time I got my license, she would still have maybe a month and a half to two months of uh you know pregnancy left and and then if i had to we could um drive up to the hospital or i could drive her to the hospital or anything um but you know they don't understand what that i'm trying to do everything i can and you know we we are going to do a dna test i'm i'm pretty positive it's mine and i'd be very 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 surprised if it wasn't mine but i just want to you know my family wants to make sure it's mine and uh everything else 
but her parents don't feel like sitting down and talking it out right now, which, I mean, is reasonable, but on the other hand, we need to sit down and talk and, you know, figure out what I have planned. That way they know that I'm going to, um, you know, that I'm doing my part and to let them know and that way we, we're on the same page because right now they're just making assumptions and I don't like what they're saying. But, um, I'm doing everything I can. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's crazy. You know, I, I mean, if I sat down and talked to their parents, I know they're going to be mad. But I'd look them straight in the eye and I would tell them the straight up the truth that I'm doing everything I can. You know, I love your daughter and that I know it's not going to be easy. I know we probably messed up our future, but you know what? We need to focus on keeping it from messing it up the most and letting me be there to support her through all this. Would actually help everything because, you know, I'm her. That she's, you know, like she wants me to be there. Because of me not being there, especially like when she's going to get the ultrasound, it's it's hurting her, you know, like it's killing her. She wants me to be there, you know, but um, in the end, I'm going to be there as much as they'll let me. I just hope they come around and let me be there for everything. I mean, th we're talking about a child's life, you know, especially if it's mine, you know, I'm going to give them money and but, you know, if they're not going to let me. Like, I'm not going to be a person that just gives them money because I got their daughter pregnant. I'm going to have my rights, and I'm going to take my part as a father to the child. And if they don't let me, then, well, man, they can, we'll probably do it the hard way. I mean, they can do it the easier way and let me be there. You know, come around and let me be there for their daughter, for their daughter and for the child. And to help support them and, you know, give them money to help with everything to buy stuff that the baby's gonna need and that or they can do it the hard way when they try to exclude me from my rights because you know by law they can't keep me from my child then uh, we will um, probably have to take them to court if they want to do it the hard way because we got you know it was not just um, one thing it was a mutual thing that we both decided and things happened so you know I want to be the best father and the best support for you know the mother of my child but you know they're making it very they're making it way more difficult than I in my opinion than it should be I know they're mad I know that all the things that they're feeling thinking that I'm getting my permit so I can drive around and hang out with friends and everything I mean, it's reasonable, but on the other hand, we did it. The main reason we went and got my permit was to make sure, like, I could get a job, and that way I can drive myself to work to give them money and to help buy things for the child that it's going to need during this time. And um, if I had to, I would drive, you know, my, my girlfriend to the uh, doctor's appointments if I needed to or to anything or drive over there to bring her something or you know anything I'm trying to be as supportive in everything I'm willingly trying to be there which to me doesn't make sense when someone's trying to willingly be there and to reach out and to sit down and talk about this to know that we are on the same page I don't understand why they're making it so much more difficult but that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be busy, you know, with school and everything. But it's to me, me working and being there and also finishing school. It's it's all important in the end. You know, I'm gonna be there, and I'm gonna do everything that I can. But for me. Like, my, my feelings toward the whole situation is that me being, if I'm going to be worn out and tired, I'm glad it's going to be because I'm working and then finishing school and being there for her, even though it's probably going to drain me completely. 
emotionally and mentally I'm going to I will you know make it um but that's pretty much what's going on yeah I don't I don't it's pretty pretty crazy um that you know we're teens and it's going to be a lot for us to take on but I'm sure that we'll make it through it through everything so I thought I'd give y'all guys this, you know, short little vlog update about uh, what we're expecting and uh, why I haven't been making videos is because I was kind of stressed out and, you know, we knew she was late but we didn't know that if she was or not and it's been confirmed, you know, she was positive two nights in a row but they wouldn't tell the daughter the results and then they went to the doctor and the doctor confirmed it so I mean yeah it's gonna be a lot but I'm prepared and hopefully she is too well guys I just want to give you guys this short little update video and I'll keep you guys updated on everything that's going on and I would love your support through all this you know it helps me when you like the video or subscribe or favorite the video or comment you know and just knowing that people out there care and will you know help me through this because it's going to be a pretty rough time and I know some people who are being you know just keep making jokes about it and then you know oh well you know that's what got you in this situation in the first place or you know like keep making jokes and you know I don't I can't really I really it's starting to make me really really mad but I need people out there that know that care and that you know just I don't know it's, it's a lot but um yeah guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now and I'll keep you guys updated with everything that's going on and I appreciate it if you like and subscribe and comment because it's going to be a rough time and I can use all the support that I can get. I'm not going to beg for it though. I mean if you don't want to that's fine. But if you do I appreciate it very 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 much. Okay. But um, this was Raging Creation. This was an update on everything that's going on in my life. And uh, yeah you guys finally know. So uh, talk to you guys later. I'll have a video, a video update for you guys soon. Alright. Bye.